I prepare for a dive by putting on my wetsuit. I would say my favorite spot to dive is, oh, it's, it's, it's either like Guadalupe for the white sharks or Tiger Beach for the tigers or Fiji for the bulls. Like, I just can't narrow it down. They're all awesome. There are many species of shark that I haven't encountered because Discovery Channel only sends me to the dangerous sharks. And so I've never seen the nice sharks like whales, baskings, all of those. So I'd love to see a whale shark. If I was a shark, I'd probably be a hammerhead just because I, I like looking cool. My life is extremely vast. Uh, so when I'm not diving with sharks, I'm working on Shark Week, I'm running a couple of businesses, I'm writing books, I'm working out, I'm spending time with my dog, uh, just living life. The advice I'd give someone that is diving with sharks and the sharks become aggressive is never take your eyes off it and get out of the water. Things that separate Makos is that they are so remarkably fast and they have a mouthful of teeth that just hang out. They're very frightening, but they're so rad. My most unforgettable experience with sharks was diving with Andy Casagrande in Australia with great whites, 110 feet deep outside the cage, surrounded by four massive great whites. I would have to say the best Shark Week show of all time, it's gotta be Air Jaws. It's important to study the behavior of sharks so that we know how to keep sharks and humans safe. It's not one or the other. We want to keep everyone safe. And the more we know about them, the more we can mitigate the risk of us coming into a negative environment together.